Good morning. It is six o'clock in the morning and I just rolled out of bed. I'm heading south of Bend, Oregon to Crater Lake National Park. And hoping to hike some miles and potentially jump off a cliff into some 55 degree water. Funny enough, jumping off a cliff is on my uh, to-do list as well, so here we go. kidding me with how straight this road is? I mentioned this is about a two hour bend. I'm not gonna lie, I'm like a kid on Christmas right now. I've been waiting so long to get to this place. So this crater is actually about uh, over 7,000 years old and how it was formed was this obviously used to be an old volcano and it started erupting on one side of the volcano and essentially a chain reaction of eruptions went around the cone of the volcano. This used to be the highest peak in Oregon and essentially whenever those chain reactions happened uh, around the cone, the cone imploded down to 4,000 feet deep and now this is about 2,000 feet deep. This is about a 2,000 foot deep lake. Uh, obviously the peak's around the edge and um, it's, it's, it's settled at the bottom, but the lake is about 2,000 feet deep, just under 2,000 feet deep. It actually holds a world record for the best visibility in a lake. They've been able to, to see an object whenever they're measuring down to almost 150 feet. Just watching the 22 minute documentary in the visitor center, I highly recommend watching it, first of all. But uh, actually, I was a little bit emotional watching it. I noticed a couple other people um, kind of had tears in their eyes when they were walking out because just understanding exactly what this place is and, and how it's formed and the fact that this is just such a unique place on earth um, to be here and to be able to see it and, and uh, know that it's so much bigger than we are. Um, it was just really a, a beautiful video, really amazing how it was formed, um, very well put together video. So make sure you watch the video at the, at the visitor center. Now I'm getting ready to go hike Garfield. Garfield's right up there. Well, unfortunately, I've made it about as far as I can go on this trail. 
So I don't have my crampons and a little bit of snow coming down this old mountain. So I just got shut down on Garfield Peak due to some snow. So just keep in mind that if you're wanting to do some good hiking above 7,000 feet, uh, you're either gonna have to bring crampons and snow equipment or plan to come in late July or early August to be safe. Uh, August is when the water temperature gets up to almost 60 degrees, which is about what it tops out at. So it's also a little bit better for swimming conditions. So the Crater Lake Lodge is like 100 years old and you can get a room for 170 to 200 bucks. And depending on the room, that's your view. All right, so now I am heading down to Cleetwood Cove. And in theory, there's a cliff that I can jump off of down here. So potentially knock something else off the old bucket list. It's a small cliff, but a cliff nonetheless. That water was a brisk 55 degrees and it felt friggin' cold. But phenomenal. So I'm getting the impression I'm like a like a hiker ninja or like a like a cat. On the way down, I was passing a guy on the left. I said uh, passing left. He, he jumped and he says, oh, oh, yeah. quiet human. He's like from New Zealand or something. So now I need to get up this hill, drive back to Bend, and I get to go to Deschutes Brewery for their brewery tour. At which point, they're gonna give me free beer. Stopped in to try and get the stank off real quick. Do the hair. And I'm heading to Deschutes Brewery. And this is the oldest brewery in Bend and they have won a ton of awards. And uh, in theory, I'm getting a, a free brewery tour and uh, some tastings. And I'm sure I will probably have a couple of extra tastings because I like beer. So Bend is this amazing little town where if you like the outdoors, you will absolutely love it here. They have a river going right through the middle of the city. It's like a 40, 50, 60 foot wide river. And there's always people tubing down it, kayaking, uh, stand up paddle boarding. Uh, everybody here rides a bicycle. There's bike lanes everywhere. Um, as you can see, based on the bike rack behind me. So, uh, all right, heading into Deschutes to get some beer.
That was delicious. <clears throat> Little did I know that they uh, released their Black Butte uh, seasonal, uh, actually it's a yearly release. It's like 12%. I believe it's bourbon barrel aged. And uh, a little bit of an ass kicker, but delicious. Uh, the tour was pretty awesome. Makes me want to go home and bottle the beer that I've been uh, brewing for the past four or five weeks. And uh, see, I have a nice oatmeal starter. Oatmeal starter, yeah. A nice oatmeal porter at home. I need a bottle uh, as soon as I get back. Thank you.